Hello my Jade Warriors and welcome back to another Jade Hope VG. It's really good to see you again today and as you can see we're back for another episode of The Walking Dead. We're here again with Lee stuck in this uh, I think it used to be like a stationery store. Oh it was a drugstore wasn't it? Full of crazed lunatics. But you know we've got to build a rapport and a relationship with all these people so let's see how we go in getting some heart nitroglycerin I think it was for one of our new allies fathers so let's have a look around here oh energy bar hell yeah that's what you need in a zombie apocalypse some energy bars I think it was in uh, Dead Island where pretty much all you had was energy it's bars damaged. to keep you moving <laughs> this place didn't get looted uh, probably not a huge amount of looting that would go on in a zombie apocalypse People would be more concerned with getting out of town, I think. Looting would come after the fact, after people feel like they've settled into a safe little hidey hole. Let's see. More energy bars! Man, we're, we're good for the rest of the game. Be able to run around screaming, full of energy like a crazed kid. Alive inside. That works. Aww. Alive inside? That's a lot of blood for people that should be alive. Interesting. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Wow. What on earth happened here? This door leads to the back alley. Yeah, I don't think there's any rock stars for us to get autographs from in the back alley around these parts. First aid kit. Yeah, that could cannon come in handy. Do you think you can pick that up? Come on, Lee, pick it up. First aid kit. No, no. Oh, there we go. God, I've got to change commands to be able to do stuff. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <laughs> Luckily, yeah, that is pretty lucky. Nothing to heal you up if you get bitten. Path to open in that door. Oh, stick! That'll come in handy. Remember, zombies kryptonite kryptonite in this game seems to be wood, so if we wave that around, we should be What's fine that? and dandy. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Oh, that's right. He knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot. Lee's parents used to own the pharmacy in uh, Macon, didn't they? Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Can you do that more? <laughs> I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Don't worry, Clementine. I got your back. Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Alright, and... Exit. I'm gonna keep looking around. All okay. Right. Let's get out of here. I think we saw all there was to see in this little back room. Certainly nothing alive inside. Alright, let's keep looking around. Let's talk to these fine folks. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad. That didn't help. I didn't get violent with him. He got violent with me, honey. What's wrong with him? You're from here? What do you think about all of this? Let's see. Let's get friendly. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. G.I. Jane. Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What's wrong with him? Was anyone here when you guys got 
guys got the pharmacy. What do you think about all of this? Yeah. Looking for my parents. Let's find out about the pharmacy. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh. Are you okay? Rough. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yes, I yeah. did. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Aww. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Aww. What do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. Vicious cycle. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with What's him? What's wrong with him? Oh, we He's already got know. a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Try some such, you know, massage. That might do the trick. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here, families. We've got kids here, families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. No, oh, I'm gonna get back it. to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. A peach fuzzed Asian is the hero of this story. Back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Come on, Jill. Jill Valentine, let's do this. I think we're nearly good. We got ourselves a bunch of energy bars. Can't imagine anything else we'd need. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. <laughs> Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. I think I gave her the energy bar. I think so. Oh, there you go. I went to all that effort of picking it up off the shelf and walking three we feet. We can't let anything <laughs> happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Well, what's on so the menu? I'm it now. Ah, I was hoping for a gay time as well. Yeah. Haley, really gave that old man hell. Yeah, <laughs> we got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, she's good, I think. Her family is dead. How should I know? Well, she's good, I think. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. Were you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. She's got a warrior's spirit. What's the plan? Are you guys all right? Let's see. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? 
We've all been through a lot. He seems okay. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're gone. They own this place. Finally, a chance to be honest. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Lay some skin on my brother. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens, man. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Console? Try to let it go. Man, everyone's just in a real down mood today. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Let's give an energy bar to good old Doc. Let's it's put a smile much, back on his face. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Not sweet, Lee. Yeah. Come on, little fella. Right. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things I out there? I don't remember them very well. Oh, we should keep in better contact with the old folks. Should have kept in better contact. But you never know, it could have been the corpses of a couple of other elderly, elderly people that they pulled out of the office. Oh, surely someone would have recognized Lee from the photos on the wall by now. Alright, let's get out of this joint. Quick look at the cork board. Let's get a fly for the Easter hunt. Go collect us some eggs while we're out saving our peach fuzz friend. Have seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. <laughs> I think they'll see me, but sure, let's go have sure. a look around. Uh, look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Sounds like a good idea. I really thought zombies were more relentless. Like, they wouldn't just give up after a couple of minutes and go off roaming all over the place. Jesus. Snap. Things aren't that quiet, man. You should have been able to see, see those guys. They're pretty close to the front of the store. Whoa. Intestine. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. All right, let's see. What's going on out here? There's the TV store. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Well, we did hear helicopters before, so it could be a glimmer of hope in the future. But the hardware store. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Ouch. Guess they couldn't manage a jog to get away from these very, like, unmotivated zombies. Oh, trapped walker. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hell than us, huh? Ooh. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that 
guy. Kind of so sad. He had a familiar face. Kind of has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. Set up a distraction. I'll see what I can find. Definitely. Alright, that's the hardware store, the walker. What's over there? The boarded up windows. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. I wonder how zombies actually perceive the living. It obviously can't be smell. Those that would have smelt us by now for sure. I guess it's all like noise and uh, like just seeing people. We should search that guy over there. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get keys out of that guy's pocket. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Oh, we prove the that uniform. guy here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. I think his name was B. Everett or something? Alright, let's go back in the store. Can we get out of here? Let's, let's go. Let's head back inside. Okay. okay. Been doing a bit of slow investigation this episode. Haven't made a huge amount of action-filled progress, but we have made some important steps to know these characters and what is in this store. So let's uh, stop there for this episode and we will continue next time with The Walking Dead. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.